This year's, this year's inductee, Katie Lang, is a unique artist who has contributed to the greater national recognition of arts and music. And to induct this legend is a legend herself, and also a member of the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. It is my very distinct pleasure to introduce a real national treasure, Miss Anne Murray. But she made me smile, and she could sing. The second time I saw her, she was accepting a Juno Award in a wedding gown, and I found myself smiling again. I loved her sense of fun, her spunk, her gumption, and she could sing. And that was just the beginning. She went on to prove that a great voice can sing just about anything it wants. She defied labeling, and I cheered her on. The first time we worked together, she told me that as a girl, she had written a song for me, and had sent a letter with it. Sadly, it never reached me, so she got no response. She was not happy. <laughs> I've been trying to make up for it ever since, so hopefully my being here tonight will do the trick. <laughs> Katie's voice, her flair for the dramatic, and her great sense of show have endeared her to not only legions of fans, but also to her peers, as you'll see here. KD, this is your magical night. Woo! Woo! Truth is pretty much everything. As an artist, I think as a human being in general, it's absolute. And for 30 years, KD Lang has remained truthful to her calling and her gifts. Musically, she's been impossible to categorize. KD can sing anything. Country, blue, pop, old torch song. I mean, she's a real deal. This idiosyncratic, wild, country folk, pop, hybrid woman coming out of Alberta, she broke all the rules in a way. Early in her career, she made an unforgettable impression with her first June back in 1985. Across, I remember that. And I continue to sing for only. Thank you very much. I love you. Katie headed to Nashville and career blossomed. She captured her first Grammy Award with a duet with the legendary Roy Orbison. And to sing with him was extremely enlightening, not only musically, but personally and spiritually. She didn't stop there. In 1990, Katie took home the Grammy for Best Country Female Vocalist. The Grammy goes to Katie Lang. Oh, yeehaw. Then, this ever-changing artist took a brave musical direction, recording the crossover album Ingenue, which yielded the biggest hit of Katie's career. Oh, I'm scared of you. Constant crazy. She became a musical celebrity and branched out into all kinds of directions. She was busting through and reaching people in ways that no industry could contain. I would call her my greatest friend. She's just a, a beautiful human being with great, great, great soul. This collaboration garnered